it's time to add some additional challenges to our wheel. Hi America and welcome back to Ready, Set, Flambe. Now originally we're going to add some additional challenges to the back half of the season, but since I kind of fudged around with the rules last time when I did the American Produce episode, which you can check out by clicking the eye in the corner here, where I made some amazing tasting honey sriracha buffalo wings, I'm going to get punished and we're going to start this week. So we've added four new items to the wheel, including two for one, where basically we'll have to either make two dishes or we'll have to use two different types of protein, starch, whatever the wheel lands on. Additionally, we have halvesies, which means we have half the money, half the time to get all of the recipe items we need from the store. Plus we have boozies, which means we can add alcohol into our entire, well, challenge series here. And finally, we have one item per aisle, which means we have unlimited money, but we only get one item per aisle. So are you ready to now spin the wheel for me, Josie? Yep. Let's do this. You get two for one. Okay, one of the new things. All right, so when I got two for one, I'm like, what are the odds I was gonna get something new? And I realized about 10% of the board's new, so it was actually pretty decent to actually get that. I'll give you a little bit more details about two for one basically means we can either make two dishes using either a certain cuisine, or we could take the latter half of our challenges, usually like protein, starch, or whatever, and make two different things with that. So basically we could end up with two different proteins, two different starches, whatever. Additionally, since we have to make kind of additional stuff, we get an additional $10, so we have $30, but still have 20 minutes to pick up everything in the store. So what is my two-for-one for today? You're laughing, is it that bad? Home and produce! No! Produce, really? I mean, I had produce last time, and you know, I kind of bent the rules so I didn't have to use much produce, so is it Revenge of the Produce or something? Home and produce, huh? I can only use stuff at the home, that means, which means that I have to either make two things out of what we have here, out of the produce we have here, which luckily we have tomatoes that are grown from our garden, plus we have a few things in the fridge, so hopefully we'll be able to make something good. So I guess we'll have to go to the store today, so let's get started. So the best thing about having the home category is I had free reign of everything in the house, which means I didn't have to just stick to the pantry items and then go spend $20 at a store. Instead, I had a wide variety of things to decide from. However, I realized that I may not have that much produce in this house. So when I started looking around the kitchen and pantry for actual produce items, I realized I had potatoes, we had frozen corn, we had celery, lettuce, carrots, dried cranberries, frozen fruits, frozen pineapple. I'm like, I actually have a lot more produce than I actually thought I did. So what can I make with all this? So I finished my shopping trip around the kitchen and pantry and here's what we're making. For the first dish, we're making a breaded chicken salad with a cranberry vinaigrette. And for the second item, we're gonna be making an alcohol Dole Whip because we just got back from Disneyland and I already missed them. So for the salad, we're gonna need tomatoes, lime juice, carrots, craisins, lettuce, slivered almonds, olive oil, and chicken patties. So the reason I went with the cranberries to make a vinaigrette out of it is like, it sounded really good, nice tart flavor with the nice salad and refreshiness of the salad. Then I realized that I really don't have any protein in the salad that's not frozen right now. I mean, we have hamburger patties, we had chicken breast, we had a bunch of other frozen protein, but the only thing that's quick and easy to make was frozen chicken patties. And I think chicken on this would be really good. And for the Dole Whip, we're gonna need frozen pineapple, pineapple rum, and coconut cream. Let's get started. All right, now that I finished with the salad and Dole Whip, it's time to bring Josie in to give it a taste test. 
Fuck, I could get a little bit of everything. I'm trying to, but like, this tomato does not want to stay on there. Yeah. All right, so if I was gonna change this a little bit more, I would have definitely made the vinaigrette a little bit thinner. However, I had a fear that it would turn out a little bit more oily than I wanted it to do, so that's why I kind of left it a little bit thicker. The tartness from the cranberries that are in there, give it a nice, I, I, I don't know what, it gives it like a nice, it balances, it balances everything, yeah, it's a nice um, balance to everything on that. Dressing could be a little bit thinner, but. Yeah, dressing could be thinner. Um, I probably could have cut my, um, Carrots a little bit better too, but chicken could have been in cubes instead of in strips. Yeah, but it's really good. Oh. It's smooth. It's nice and smooth is what I like about it. It's perfect. Yeah. Could be a little bit more pineapple. -y. Could be a little more pineapple. -y. It tastes a little bit like coconut, but. The only thing I probably done different with the dollop is I probably would have used a little bit less coconut cream and a little bit more rum in it just so it wasn't as strong of coconut flavor in it and then it, that rum would have added you know, a little extra flavor to it. So good. Anyways, unlike last time where I had American produce where produce was kind of, you know, on this side of the dish and wasn't the star, this time I could fully say produce was actually the star. If you guys like this recipe and want to get these recipes, check out the descriptions down below. If you haven't already, go over to our website raystephmombay.tv for other great recipes. Why over there, you can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Plus, head over to our Instagram page to get some behind the scenes photo. Until two weeks when Josie takes on our next challenge, I'm Eric Diego. Thank you for watching.